I murdered a lobster when I was 15. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Today, chat, we're running back confessions, but we're doing it a little different this time. I'm asking you guys in VC to tell me your confessions face to face with a couple of friends that I got that I'll introduce in a second. The return of Jaywalk. And you got a new person here, my boy Don, aka Don Delectable, aka Don Delicious. Day one's here. These are my homeboys. I've known them longer than I've been, you know, doing. We will hear your confessions face to face, and I will turn my camera on in Discord in a second. This is Zamri. Yeah, Zamri. That's how it's pronounced. You got a cam, bro? Sorry, man. I ain't got a cam. Side stuck in my room. You ain't gonna see me. No, no, don't ask that. I need a preface. I'm pretty straight now, but back when I was a kid, I was on fucking smoke. I was fighting any nigga I wanted to. And there was this one dude who I was like beefing with. His, I ain't gonna say his name. We was like throwing hands every Friday. One day I was waiting at the bus stop and I come up and my little brother come up to me. He got a black eye and I was like, what happened to you? And he goes, the guy in your class, he brought his friends and they was hurting me. And I got so pissed, man. So okay. I remember I was like, I'm going to beat this nigga's little brother up. So the next day I'm looking for this, this dude's brother. I go into the classroom. Your little brother on the wheelchair. Let's just say uh, I tipped his wheelchair over. You're like actually shitty for that. I was nine years old, man. And I didn't understand <laughs> the concept of moral dignity, nigga. That shit That's was fun. yesterday for you, bro. His parents tried to press charges against me because I beat the fuck up they son. Yeah, understandably so. My next one is a little longer. Look, I'll stop There's you if it gets too crazy. <laughs> this actually took place kind of recently. September 2022, when I was in my junior year of high school. And so I need a preface. I explicitly don't go into drugs or alcohol. It's just not worth in my opinion i get invited by one of my friends to go to a party in the area except the nigga who, who who's running the party is like a 20 year old stoner so we go to this party right my friend keeps telling me he says there ain't gonna be a lot of drugs i go in it's fucking spin the bottle you got niggas in the corner just smoking weed and it just smells horrible in the room and i was just like why why fuck would you promise me that after like 30 minutes this dude just fucking disappears i ain't i didn't see him for the for a while so the stoner dude again 20 year old college student he come up to me he's like yo what's wrong i'm bored as fuck man when he says you know what are you Hungry? I said, yeah, I'm hungry. He says, I got an unopened box of Captain Crunch. You can go, you can hook yourself up. I don't live in the United States, so Captain Crunch is rare as fuck. And I remember seeing two boxes. I pour uh, like a moderately sized bowl and I start eating. I, I'm like halfway through the shit until my homie who I brought came up and he's like, nigga, stop eating. What, what, what are you talking about? It's just Captain it's, Crunch. And he just it's goes, edibles. Look, it's fucking edibles. Oh my God. Yep. Yes, sir. He's like, look at this, nigga. 18 ounces, 400 milligrams. You're cooked. I was so nervous. I go outside. I'm sorry. I'm running out. I'm looking for this 20 year old dude because I'm about to smack the shit out of him because I'm so pissed, man. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to leave the party. So I go up to the roof because there's less noise and there's better reception for me to call Uber until I, let's just say, I start hearing uh, moaning. And so I turn around and it's my homie with nothing but his boxes on behind a girl. And let's just say they were doing uh, not so much explicit things. Let's just say it's H-U-M-P-I-N-G. Uh, Dry, by the way. So I was just like, oh, hell no. Nah. I got to get this nigga out of here. I call the Uber, bro. I'm shoulder carrying this dude into the into the fucking Uber. And I had to get him home and tuck him in in his own fucking bed, man. I had to knock on him. His parents, but they were so confused. And I was pretending that he just fell asleep at the party. And I had to put him to bed myself. <laughs> So I get home, right, and I'm sitting on my bed. I got my legs crossed. I'm, I'm waiting for the high to kick in. I felt normal the whole time until my mama came knocking on my room at 10 a.m. And then I started to pretend I was asleep for some reason. But here's the worst part. The girl that my homie was doing with, we later figured out that, let's just say uh, she was between the ages of 12 and 14. Wait, and 14. wait, what? How old was your homie? My homie was 18. <laughs> That's not your homie anymore, bro. GG's, bro. No, I'm still friends with that nigga, man. We still go bowling. No, that's my man. We used to go bowling. Yeah, we don't condone that at all here. Um, shit is crazy. Big boss. Big boss. What's up, man? Big boss. What's up, man? You got a camera? First oh, camera today. Oh, oh, shit. Big boss. What's up, bro? Someone in chat last time I was here told me to clean, uh, said my room was messy. So I cleaned that shit up because I was like, ugh, should have turned off my camera. I'm a collector. I've spent a lot of money on things to like collect like figures and stuff. So my senior year, this wasn't that long ago. To clarify, my girlfriend knows about this, so it's not that big of a deal. Instead of buying our prom tickets, I bought a $200 figure and had no money to get the tickets. 
Okay. My mom. I was like 17 or 18 and she still grounded my ass after prom. I got this bitch right here. 200 worth. bucks. Worth. Absolutely worth. Well, What's up, man? My sleep schedule has been fucked, honestly. So I literally woke up, took a shit, got on the call, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't even got out of bed, though. But... Yeah. Huh? Wait, did you? Yo, yo, wait, 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 wait. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry. I gotta go. Hello. Max Jackson, you got a cameraman? Okay. This is straight up my actual hair. I, I wasn't assuming it was a wig, but yeah, that's fine. So what you got for us, man? At my high school during senior year, like near the end of my school year, they were actually starting up a esports program for my high school, which the first semester was basically us like testing the waters of like what games we can actually play. And one game that was available that my friends really were a big fan of was League of Legends. Now, because I was kind of close with them throughout high school, I actually decided, fuck it, I'm just gonna join even though I really hate the game. The good news is, is that I was a substitute, so I didn't really have to worry too much about it. The problem is, every time I tried to play the game, I really hated it. I basically stopped playing the game and actually stopped hanging around with them, and a lot of shit was going on near the senior year of my high school life, so I straight up just cut off connections with them because of that's how bad the relationship was. You don't ever want to lose your friends to leave. Yeah, I've been there. I wouldn't tell him to shake his hair. <laughs> Sensational. He should get a mullet or a buzz cut. <laughs> I don't think the mullet would be bad, but I'd, I'd say give it yeah, some time yeah, before yeah, you yeah. really go through with it. Would you ever think about getting a boosty fade? Huh? I am too white to know that, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, be sure to run up Oddwin Plus. If you guys don't, I'll cry. Oddwin Plus, what's that? Well, Oddwin Plus is actually Oddwin's second channel that he uses for gaming, and he also uploads playthroughs and other sorts of content that you should definitely check out on YouTube.com. Oddwin Plus, look it up in your search box. <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? I murdered a lobster when I was 15. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let's get, straight oh. to it. Let's get straight to it. 15, man. Became a lifeguard. I actually loved my job as a lifeguard. I stayed there for like six, six some odd years. Outdoor water park. We had one big ass slide, right? 300 foot long. We had a Kroger and they sold um, lobsters in there. Somebody went to go get one for me. I was sitting in the break room and they barge in and throw a fucking lobster on the table and say, Huey, why is there a fucking lobster on the table? They said, you're going to take that up the slide and drop them down. I said, all right. I'm thinking, you know, lobsters survive in water. You know, he should be fine. I take him up to the top. They're all like, Q, we dropped that motherfucker. So I'm like, all right. I throw him down the slide. This is after after hours, of course. He reaches the bottom. He hits the water. He doesn't move and uh, fucking died in the slide. So on the top of the slide, I could see the bottom and I saw him. He, uh, he kind of just flopped out and he didn't move. What was the incline like? Was it? Oh, yeah. Like, no oh, wonder. Wow. Yeah. That nigga is dead. That's crazy. Yo, Irado, man. What's up, man? Quite surreal to be here. Not going to lie. This summer, uh, or at least like for a while now, I haven't found, you know, music production to be like all that fun. And then I came across this uh, YouTube channel by the name of Oddwin. I watched their videos. That channel helped me remind myself that, you know, music is not that deep. You can have fun with it. And, you know, now I enjoy it again. That's the point of it all. Just have fun. Right, right now, on all platforms. Just have fun. Volume 1 and 2. Volume 1 and Volume 2. What about the bomb that'll explode if we don't get a, a kit? You talking about buying odd instrument 8s? Look, chat. We were able to defuse the bomb, but things got it. a little complicated. Yeah. It would help out a whole lot if you was able to buy odd instruments 8s. Oddwin.bstars.com slash soundkits. All your sounds to elevate your production, man, with odd instruments 8. Yo, Ankh! Oh, that Jay Walk. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? What's up, bro? <laughs> What's up, gang? Oh, y'all ever seen Iron Giant before? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I cry like a goddamn newborn when that robot died, man. <laughs> we could watch Iron Giant right here on stream and I'll tear the fuck up, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's your favorite movie? No, nah, my favorite movie is Charlotte Will. Oh. <laughs> That's. That's so sweet. <laughs> if y'all ain't tapped in, if y'all ain't really watched Scarlet's, Charlotte's Web, I said Scarlet. Nigga don't watch Charlotte Web for real. That shit hard, huh? They get serious about that movie, bro. Oh, God. That uh, shit sad. Then she had children, too. Think about the children, man. Huh? All right, I'll. Uh... Yeah. I'm gonna let you boy keep confessing. Unk, you take it easy, bro. My legend nephew. Yo, the ultimate Jedi, man. The Jedi ultimate, ultimate. You got a camera, right, man? Yeah. I'm fucked up right now. Okay, that's fine. The first one is about me cutting my hair and then blaming it on another nigga, bro. How you suck dick on accident? <laughs> <laughs> the 
So, second grade. I get punished because I'm talking in the class and shit. Everybody's just looking around at me, wondering why I'm just talking to my friends and shit. So I have to stay after class while they go to their elective period and have fun and shit. What ends up happening is, I get this crazy ass idea in my head, I'm thinking, you know what? Let me see if I could give myself a little fade right quick. Cause I see I've been growing a little stuff up top right here. I grab the safety scissors that's near my desk without even looking at a goddamn mirror. I'm over here snipping away. I don't even know what it's looking like. I'm thinking to myself, oh yeah. I'm finna be nice as fuck after this. All the girls finna be like, ooh, he looking good. He looking nice right there. I go about the whole day trying to show this shit off. I've gotten reactions like, Yo, why they laughing at me and shit? My grandmother picks me up. Once my grandmother picks me up, I'm showing it off to her. I'm like, hey, Momo, I'm looking real nice. You see the cut right here? She say, boy, why the hell you got a hole in your head? She put a flashlight on it, take a picture of it and send it to my mom. She wondering how that happened and shit. So just without missing a beat, I say, it was the dude behind me. He cut my hair because he wouldn't stop messing with me. Bro, I had my mama screaming at these goddamn teachers she was ready to go and whoop some ass because i lied about it so whoever the guy was i know his name i am very sorry that you had to get real acquainted with leather that day i am so sorry no you're fine hey, bro. it gets better right <laughs> wrong because i'm on call with the teacher i'm crying my eyes out and shit they talking to me but how did that even happen when they was at selective period and you were the only one in the class my mom was trying to figure out what's going on and shit so then i just come out and say it. she like all right all right it's okay she's still on the phone with the teaching thing so i'm thinking in my mind okay it's all good phone clicks off get to that back room immediately <laughs> and you know the rest Cut. you were not sitting down straight story. for the next week all right record head can you guys see my face cam's not on big bro odd one okay. i'm gonna get serious with you real quick now when you say serious are you gonna make me depressed this is going to be okay. stream appropriate, right? It's stream appropriate. Every week, at least once a week, I go to the grocery store and I buy a giant thing of milk, like a gallon of milk. I don't know why, but I can't stop sawing them in half. Take a saw out and I start sawing it in half and it, it spills out everywhere. <laughs> and I don't know what to do. Are you Odd fake when crying? Something I'm doing every day. And it's like, I can't stop. I have... I, I gotta get a drink. I'm sorry. Yo! Okay, I thought I thought he was about to start fucking sawing this shit wait, in half. Wait. I just had to get it across. Thanks. Yeah, get you some sleep, man. Listen, I have a confession. I'm not gonna lie. No, I know you said we couldn't talk about how you love white women. And I get that. I understand. You better choose your next words wisely. But you didn't say anything about me. I have a problem. I'm not daring black I'm people, my man. Odd one, when I tell you she might be the one, I mean she might be the one. Like, I've had the caramels. I've had the chocolates. The strawberry milk just hit a little bit different. I'm not gonna lie. I love black women. I do. I've obsessed over black women as a child. For some reason, they just don't vibe with your boy. I sentence you to 4,000 lashes for conduct unbecoming a black man. And what you want me to do about that? I can't force you to love me. And I just feel like I need some help because I don't think this is the path that Dr. Umar wants me to go down. Because I understand this is wrong, but it just feels so right. All right, guys, this has been a great stream. <laughs> During Wasting Black History time. Month? All right, chat. I think that's more than enough. Feel like I win the way I'm winning on these odd-ass niggas. Yeah, sure.